Hey everyone! In this video, I will share three powerful lessons I learned after solving 10 real interview questions in chip design and verification, specifically for student intern or junior level positions. Stick around till the end, because the bonus tip might be what helps you pass your next interview. Now here's what surprised me. As I worked through these interview questions, I wasn't just focused on getting the right answers. I found myself thinking, how would I explain this clearly to someone else? And that's when it hit me. The moment I started thinking about how to present each solution, it actually felt like I was in a real interview. That mindset shift helped me spot what really matters. And that's how the tips naturally came together. So here they are. Lesson one, mastering the foundations. If basic terms like MOOCs, flip-flop, encoder, decoder, or FSM still feel a bit unfamiliar, this tip is for you. If you can't instantly draw each component, describe the function, and write the truth table, you're not ready yet to start tackling real interview problems. This isn't about memorizing. It's about fluency. You need to be able to use these building blocks naturally. Lesson two, simplify first. You know those questions like, generate a random permutation of integers from one to n, design a circuit with n inputs and n outputs. Well, n stands for not gonna solve it like that. At first, I used to get stuck trying to figure out the full general solution. I would go straight into solving for any n and immediately feel overwhelmed. But then it clicked. I'm not going to solve it that way. Instead of n, I go, generate a permutation from 1 to 10, or design a circuit with 3 inputs and 3 outputs. That makes it way easier to reason through. Once I understand the simplified version, I can generalize from there. So my practical tip is, don't hesitate to say in an interview, let me start with a simplified case to make sure I'm thinking correctly. It shows clarity, confidence, and that you're structuring your thinking. Before we continue, if you're finding this content valuable, I would really appreciate your support. Give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and feel free to share more tips in the comments. Lesson three. Find anchors and build from what you know. Sometimes in interviews, you get the question that totally throw you off. You don't see the full path to the answer, and that's when many candidates freeze. But here's the thing. You almost always know something, even if it's just one part of the logic, one concept, or one signal. That's your anchor. So my practical tip is, start from your solid ground, even if it's small. Say out loud what you do know and start building your solution step by step from there. Interviewers don't expect perfection. They're watching how you think, how you solve problems, and how you recover when you're unsure. Bonus. Show your thought process and speak like an engineer. Honestly, this may be one of the biggest difference between candidates who pass and those who don't. Even if you don't fully solve the problem, it's also how you communicate it. Sometimes two candidates might both struggle to fully solve a problem, but only one gets the offer. Why? Because they showed how they think, and they spoke like an engineer. In general, we can break understanding into two levels. Level one, surface understanding. Level two, deep understanding. Let's see an example. Here's a classic interview question. How will you use a flip-flop in your design? Level one, surface understanding. I would use a flip-flop to store data. It's not wrong, but it doesn't show much depth and context. Level two, deep understanding. Besides storing data, I would use a flip-flop to synchronize signals between asynchronous blocks. This helps ensure signals are sampled in sync with the system clock. That's a strong signal. You're showing real understanding of system design. Remember, it's not just what you know. 
It's how you communicate it. Interviewers constantly evaluate two things. First, your technical knowledge. And second, how you apply and explain that knowledge in real time. Practical tip. Don't just practice solving problems. Practice explaining your solutions to a friend, to an engineer, or even out loud to yourself. All right, let's wrap this up with a quick summary of what we have learned. Lesson one, master the foundations. If you can't quickly explain or sketch a basic component like MOOCs, flip-flop, or FSM, that's a sign you need to go back and solidify the basics. Lesson two, simplify first. Don't be afraid to say, let me start with a smaller example. It shows clarity and confidence, not quickness. Lesson three, build from what you know. Even if you don't have the full solution, start from what you do understand. That anchor will go you forward. And the bonus tip, speak like an engineer. It's not just what you know, it's how you explain it. Practice talking through your ideas, just like you would do in a real interview. And remember, the goal isn't to be perfect. It's to be clear, logical, and show how you think.